Hey everyone, it's Janet. I'm here to do um, the tutorial for my tea bag mini, and I am going to try to go through this fairly quickly because I've done this once before, and unfortunately, it turned out to be like 22 minutes, and I couldn't figure out how to edit it down. So I'm just going to kind of plow through it. And if you have any questions afterwards, if I didn't make things clear, let me know, and I'll try to answer you in the questions below. So first of all, what you're going to need is um, three sheets of paper that are two and a quarter by six inches, which I figured out if you're doing that by centimeters, it's like five and a half centimeters by 15 centimeters. And that's um, a close approximation. It's not exact, but it's really close. So um, what you're gonna wanna do is have um, these three sheets, and I just am using the Stella Rose paper again. I'm gonna do a little Christmas mini. Um, tiny tiny tea bag mini so I've scored it at three inches so that I can fold it in half and I'm gonna do that with all three of them and then what I'm gonna do is create the um, tea bag corners on these and um, I've discovered that um, you kind of want to do them fairly flat and you want to leave about an inch or so in the middle, maybe even a little more. So it's approximately a 45 degree angle that you want to cut them at, maybe, uh, well, about that. Okay. And you turn it over and flip it so that you've got your other corner to match. And it will look like this then when you open it up. And there's about an inch. Let's measure it just to be sure. About an inch and a quarter actually in the middle there, which is probably about what you want. Then you just take your first one you did and use that to trim the corners on the next one. Okay, and then you put them all together. And you've got your little tea bag mini. And I'm gonna arrange these. Let's see, I'm gonna that in the middle, that on the outside, and I think this in here. Because I was trying to alternate it so when it opens it's green, red. Neutral, green, red, red, green, neutral, red, green, red. Okay. <clears throat> so that's the order I want them in. Now for the cover, I used, um, this was that Stella and Rose. I guess it's Stella and Rose, not Stella Rose. Um, <clears throat> and this is the Mabel collection. It's the same one I did my other little mini with. And... This is some other my mind's eye paper that is old and I've just had it, but it's really thick. So I'm gonna use this for the cover. <clears throat> and this is two and a half inches by about eight inches, which um, comes out to approximately 6.2 by 20 centimeters. And if, you know, you can always make it six and a half if you wanted to do even numbers. <clears throat> and then what you do is you score it at an inch and a quarter and fold it and that will be your flap and then three inches from that score mark you score it again and fold it and then a half an inch from that score mark you score it and fold it if I can get it to fold this is like I said this is really really thick paper Okay. 
And then what you do, the same thing up here. This is going to be your, um, where the corners meet. So center your paper so your corners are even. And then you can trim it not quite, not quite matching. And that will give it a little bit of. Order. Okay, so then what you do is you poke holes in it. You need a pokey tool. And you poke it right in the middle and then again poke it about oh, more than a quarter of an inch a little more than a quarter of an inch on either side. That's where you attach it. It's up at the top there. Okay, so now you take a needle. I've got a needle threaded here with six strand embroidery floss. No knot on the end. And it's doubled. And then what I do to get the tail for the tag is you start on the outside. So this is your outside cover. You go up through that center hole, through all your pages, and the first one's always the hardest. It takes me a few tries to get all the pages. And then you want to leave, um, I don't know, six to eight inches on the tail there. So you want your string to be about two and a half feet when you start. Then you go over to one side or the other. It doesn't really matter. You go through. Um, I'm, I go to the right. Come up. Make sure it's tight. Pull tight. Then you're on the outside again. <clears throat> and you have your tail hanging down here. Then you go over to the other side. Pull it through, and you go up through the center again. And as you're going up through the center, you want to make sure that your tail is on one side and your needle comes up on the other side of that center thread so that you catch it when you knot it. Okay, there we go. Oops, I pulled it out. Oh, come on. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so there we go. So, um, then what you're going to do is tie a knot in it so that the center thread is in the middle. have found your little book. Oh, and by the way, this dimension here is um, 
about two and a half. I didn't cut it off because I wasn't sure how long I was going to need it to be, so I think it's longer. It's That's probably about three inches. Not quite three inches. That, almost three inches. So I'm going to cut it down to about two and a half. So I'll cut it where this red border is. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. You don't want your cover to go past your corners. Okay, there we go. So um, it'll flip up here. I've got a brad I'm going to use to um, cover this. And then <clears throat> with your tail here, um, you can cut off either one or you can leave them both there and um, tie your tag to it. I've got a little tag here that I prepared. Um, it's all ready to go. I'm going to I'm going to really grunge this thing up, I think, and make a cute little Christmas one. So when I get it done, I'll post another video and show you what it looks like when it's done. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to attach this, and I have to figure out how I'm going to attach it, how I want to tie that on. So I'm not going to do that right now, but um, I'll, t I'll tie that on, and then you've got like a little tea bag. So um, I hope that that answers your questions and um, shows you how to do this. If you have, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, it's nice because with this kind of binding, you get the whole full page, um, which I think is really nice compared to like if you do it matchbook style, they usually staple them right there and then this, this slips under, but then you only get like this part of the page. So this way it opens all the way up so anyway that's it hope everybody had a great christmas and thank you for watching and i will post this um when it's finished thank you